Hi, Vicki Crystalline. So I've got a beautiful question that um, somebody has asked me. And uh, she's been following me for a very long time, probably since almost the beginning of my journey. So anyway, um, I'm going to read it because you can't do like you can on TikTok. So I'm going to read it. And so maybe this will help you to understand to look at life a little bit differently. So Jen, I love you. Absolutely. So these are her questions and her uh, experience right now, how she feels. And actually everything she's talked about, I had to go deep with all these this last year. Really deep. So these are perfect. So, Vicki, if our outer world reflects our inner world, then why, after 12 years of being awake, is my outer reality not reflecting my inner? Okay, let me explain that. Okay, if your outer world isn't reflecting your inner, what are you focusing on? If you're looking out to the world and you see chaos, just allow your light to be there and then focus on something else like a tree on music. You are learning how to focus your energy and we all get a choice on how we're going to focus our energy. So inside of us is light and dark. We are both. We are... Think of this as a movie and you need the light and the dark characters to play this movie out fully. This is the same with you. This is the same with all of us. We all have light and dark. And as our light is becoming lighter, our dark is becoming darker. And the reason is, is because you're coming into balance with who you truly are. And you're shedding light on all that darkness. And so you're becoming pure light. So um, the thing is not to judge it. Oh, show me where I'm focusing at because it's feeling really heavy in my body right now. I need to sit in nature. I need to go be with a tree. Truly, it's how you're focusing. And then you will definitely, definitely, within moments, when you're out in nature, it redirects your focus so you don't feel that heaviness. And as you're carrying around that heaviness, because those ideas are popping up in your mind like a videotape playing, um, just let it go. Let it go. It's showing you what you're attached to. Just let it go. I let it go whatever and don't try to attach yourself or judge yourself just let it go and what you'll do is you'll feel the energy start running through your system i always feel it through the middle of myself running through my system and out my feet out my hands it's just i'm giving it to gaia and so just give it to gaia so and just pay attention to where you're focusing at because as the world becomes lighter the dark's going to become darker because everything is revealing itself everything is breaking apart there's nothing hidden anymore not even in yourself so it's just that right to the point where are you holding your focus so and be the light yeah truly and i love this next one it says i've been a vegan for eight years living the barefoot style for over eight years and yet my outer world isn't reflecting my inner world Really? How are you judging yourself, love? Because that's all judgment. That's completely all judgment. I feel that your outer world is reflecting your inner world. And if you're not trusting the process, the, the process is trust the flow of life. Everything's showing up as it is. And I ain't got to worry about how stuff's going to be in my life. I'm just, whatever's in front of me, I'm going to react or not react. I'm just going to go with the flow. And that's all you're doing. And about vegan, plants are conscious. Animals are conscious. We are conscious. So if you're eating animal, I used to beat this too. And this is the biggest judgment out there is vegan miss. Because, you know, it's so funny because you're like, I'm vegan. That's the first thing out of your mouth. Why? You know, so just let go of that judgment. Um, animals are brought forward in our, uh, that bring information. And we merge with their information. And they bring it from the other side because they're going through life very quickly. So if you're meant to eat meat, trust that. And you know what? I, too, was vegan for a while. That's why I can go through these stories. That's why my life has been tremendous because I've experienced it so I can help. So um, when I let go of the vegan is the I can see, I can't even say it. When I let that go and I started eating, I just wanted a big, juicy steak. I ate it, and I felt better in my life 
than I have in a long time because our muscles need it. We need the fat from the cows. It's all all right. And since then, I feel better in my body. And I've been making tallow, putting it on my skin, and I've been taking it internally, being uh, doing the collagen from um, the beef. And I get the best meat that I can get. I don't buy cheap meat because I want living going into my body and that's it so just let go of that judgment of, of being a vegan okay if you're going to choose to stay that then choose to say that you don't got to tell the world that's just who you are but don't have a judgment about somebody who's eating carnival and it's just the way you say it the only reason you're saying it i am vegan is because you think that it's something better than you are and it's not it's not truly we're all having experience enjoy it all so Listen to your body. That's what I always tell everybody. Listen to your body. Whatever your body's calling, listen to that. If you're wanting meat, listen to that. If you want vegetables, fruit, whatever, listen to your body. It's showing you. What's happening with me right now is I'm like eating for a long time. I've been eating like one meal a day. And uh, then I've been going through moments where I can't get enough food. And I just trust. And I realize that when I eat low vibration food, it hits me hard. It hits me really hard. It's like, no, I can't do that. So it affects my body very quickly. And I still love that I allow myself to go there, you know. Anyway, but some of it's so good. You know what I mean? So, and the next thing is, everything's, okay. And she's saying that she was vegan, living the barefoot style, and that's great. And I feel that you're already, you're matching your outer world. So just trust the process and just be in the flow. Everything still seems busy and usual in the collective. I don't understand why all these people are getting woke since 2020 and the outer seems to be just rapidly becoming more stressful and not relaxed at all. What are you focusing on? I can feel the energy of you shifting into stressful and you're taking on their energy because of what you're focusing on. Everybody has a right to what they're experiencing. Everything is a piece to the puzzle. Everything everything so if you have judgment against that let that go let it go and if you're feeling it and it's making you stressed out sit by a tree a tree will hear you instantly and take it all away and just breathe that's it that's it we make it so much difficult we think we've got to do all this stuff in the world we don't we only have to do it right here in these bodies that's it that's it nothing more so and not everybody's here to wake up. Other people have woken up in their other lives and they're coming here to be the big badasses. Yeah. So think about that. They've already done all the work. So they're going to be the dark side this time. Yeah, to move us along. So remember, it's all just a story. And we get to choose how reacting to everything that shows up in front of us. So that's beautiful. So let it go. And not everybody's here, you know, to be on the same journey as you, Jen nobody nobody there's so much difference in all of our journeys as we're waking up and that's why we need to wake up to our own self because there's such a uniqueness with each one of us it adds to the piece to the puzzle the light puzzle truly so i'm trying to understand all of this and even exposing my questions hopefully make hopefully these make sense over, even on my days where I, I had breakthroughs and aha moments, it still seems like nothing's becoming enlightened. Where are you holding your focus? Where are you holding your focus? It's shifting and changing so fast. So you get those aha moments and then you walk out of it and you're like, I feel like shit now. What the hell? It's because you're taken back on the collective in old ways. So you're learning to adapt into a new way. So you just getting out of the familiar and walking into the uncomfortable and being in your adapting to it. So, um, and the collective only looks stressful and it is because we are becoming lighter. The world's becoming lighter. So everything is breaking apart. So you see the stress if you focus on the stress. So just think about that. Where are you holding your focus? That's the biggest question for you. And all of us, all of us, this is what I've been doing all the time. All this, all, all my journey, uh, it took me till this last year. And I've been trying to wake up in this lifetime, all my lifetime. So yeah, I finally got it. I finally got it, you know, 60 years later. Where are you holding your focus? Let it go. Yeah, it's all perfect. Every piece to the puzzle is perfect. Okay, so... At best, you're too... Okay. And then she says, these are our final questions. Um, 
I had breakthroughs and aha moments, and it still seems like nothing is becoming enlightened in the collective at all. At best, YouTube seems to be the only place where YouTube, where people are waking up. Thank you. And you know, you explained this perfectly. You, you explained it perfectly. On YouTube, you get to pick and choose what you're going to watch. You're holding your focus. That's why you're only noticing it there. Once you start training yourself to go to a, a calmer version of yourself, you won't see stuff. Even though you, you walk in it, you won't see it how other people see it. And I've really recognized that this year. Because when people talk about a story of a big event, I'm like, I didn't see any of that. It wasn't as harsh as I thought it was. So we see it in a different way. And you know that you're there just to let your light flow. So it's not so hard for everybody else. So you're doing it, sweetheart. We're all doing it. We're all doing it perfectly. The only thing is, is when we start judging ourselves. But these are all perfect questions because this is what I've really been going through of letting go of everything over this last six months in my life. I had to let all that shit go. And the only thing that's going to happen that's going to change is me in this body. And how am I reacting to the world? And the same for you. So let the world be the world and focus on what you're doing. That's it. It's just where you're holding your focus, love. I said love. I hope this helps. And if you have any more questions, let me know. I love you, Jen.